Hello, welcome to a new vlog. Today's a bit of a different day, so I thought I would take you along with me and uh, enjoy the day together. Yes, all makeup up and uh, hair curled, although it's already dropping a bit, because we're off out to do a photo shoot. I am wearing a dress, the snowdrop dress that I finished this last week, and so we're off to go and find some snowdrops. <laughs> Fingers crossed for the weather. Look outside at the moment. That's what it looks like at the moment. It's basically fog and drizzle. <laughs> but the sun is meant to be coming out this afternoon. I thought actually the fog would be some. We could get some nice atmospheric pictures in the fog first, have a quick lunch at the National Trust Cafe and then go off and do some in the sun. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So I hope you enjoy coming along with us. Um, we are off to Fine Court. We've never been there before. It's sort of in the Quantox sort of West Somerset and so it's sort of between Bridgewater and Taunton. Never been there before so we just found out online that it's got snowdrops. I hope we don't have to go hunting for the snowdrops but I'm sure we'll get some good photos anyway. So I'll be getting photos partly because Chris has got a new lens and he's, he's into the photography. It's partly for his hobby, partly because I want to get some pictures of the new dress and partly for making uh, sort of source material, references for my art because that tends to be what I'm painting as figures in woodland, in the countryside or wherever. So yeah, we're about to go and fingers crossed the weather. I don't mind it foggy as long as it's not rainy. So this is what I'm in the process of packing up for the day. I've got my camera, a little camera bag. I've just got my camera and my big nice lens in there. I'm taking this, this is my, I did a video all about this. This is my fancy thing to get fancy effects. It's got like prisms and uh, things you can photograph through to create, yeah, interesting effects that can look quite fairylandish. Phone, I'm taking with the book I'm reading at the moment, The Way of the Fearless Writer by Beth Kempton. And in my bag here, I've got a little bit of lip to cheek from Trilly London. My spare batteries. And hopefully there's a fluffy muff in there as well. Kit Kats to keep us sustained. Tiny little pencil case with just my fountain pen in there. And I'm taking my diary and I'm taking my sketchbook and a pencil case full of water soluble crayons and that's my wrap with all my pencils in as well. So that's stuff to do while um, Chris perhaps goes off and does his own landscape photography. I'll pop that in there but I'll take my phone in a different bag. Also taking a pair of warm leggings in case I get too cold. At the moment I'm wearing lace leggings <laughs> because they're the only ones I had that sort of that are green and sort of go with the dress. So yeah, I might need to change in the car to them. We'll see how we go. The Glastonbury tour is completely shrouded in cloud. How bizarre. How bizarre? How bizarre. I mean, what if there's a big dip here? I just go really, really slowly. size of this tree. They've even done stepping stones up the edge there. <laughs> I know. It, it does, it looks like a Disney film set type tree. That is incredible. Listen to the birds. That makes it sound like the spring. I haven't heard so many birds in this for a long time. Yeah, the problem with coming somewhere you've not been before is you just don't know how far things are. So I've got my big bag 
on my shoulder with all my sketching stuff in because we just didn't know whether we'd be going back to the car and then out again or doing all on the one all on the one trip oh look that would be a good picture yeah. there's two there's a pair of ducks just in front of that very old and interesting looking bridge <laughs> that's funny i was literally just planning what i was going to say to you about not being able to find a place to do the photos and we've just found the perfect spot there's some snowdrops either side of a little wooden path so i shall prance about up and down there <laughs> Oh wow, it's turned out to be a nice sunny day. We were worried, we, when we first got here, it was pouring, no, not pouring, but it was raining. And we thought, oh no, oh no, but it's okay. We just had a nice sit down on the bench, having done um, a photo shoot. How many photos have you taken? Nearly 700. <laughs> That's gonna take some sorting through, but um, we've just found this other nice pretty spot. Look, there's a, this little waterfall there this won't be for arty pictures oh it's nice actually might work for an art, arty shot actually yeah, right. yeah. for um for painting i was uh, just thinking for an instagram <laughs> so don't fall down it's so slippy and muddy right he's ready quicker than i expected i'll put you down and uh, get prancing about on the bridge <laughs> So we're in the walled garden. Look at that. I love those steps. Shame we can't get to them for some photos. <laughs> yeah, so the house was completely burnt. Well, not completely. We, we, were, we had lunch in the courtyard of the house, but it almost all burnt down a couple of hundred years ago. Let me fact check that date, that number of years, by the way. I do love a walled garden. Shame they haven't actually done it as a garden. Not at this time of year. No, there's no flower beds at all. I'd love a big old Victorian brick wall garden. I think it's because of Secret Garden. Um. Oh, am I going? Oh. <laughs> I'll go first. I think Secret Garden is probably responsible for a lot of people's walled garden fantasies, I expect. Lovely and quiet here, isn't it? Yeah, so that part is the only part that's left, I think, of the original house. Right, well sadly I think we're done here already. We think we got the shots, that's the main thing. That was the point of the day out really. It's still a bit too early in the year to properly enjoy an outside day. I mean, it was all just, um, we didn't get anywhere. Chris was meant to be doing some landscape photography as well and I was gonna do some sketching. As you saw, I packed it all and carried it all around on my shoulder and uh, just, it just wasn't pretty enough really no there was you know i'm sure it will be later yeah this is pretty that's why i thought i'd film here idea for the garden <laughs> okay well i think we're going back to the car i think we're done aren't we i think we are i do love a folly apparently this building was used as dog kennels at one point in its history Oh, it looks so romantic. That's proper fairy tale. Shame we can't use this spot for photos. It would have looked really good. We're keeping a lookout for the catkins because that's the next foul fairy oh, outfit I'm going to make. Photo. Stand where I'm standing now. Like here, you've got quite a low row. 
yeah. of trees. And I could stand here and yeah. duck in and out of... <laughs> out of. Yeah, it's really hard to find good angles. Hazel Catkins next. So that's it, we're off, we are off home now. We forgot about this little bit by the car park. Off we go, glad the sun did come out. It just cheers the place up. Oh, look at these branches. That's very fairy tale -y. Well, I may as well end the vlog here and I will see you soon. Hope you enjoyed coming around with us for the day. Yeah, really nice to get out in the, out in nature and outside. We were very lucky with the weather, I think, in the end. So I hope you've had a nice sunshiny day wherever you are, or if not, because <laughs> let's face it, it's unlikely if you're here. I hope you get one soon and take care. I'll see you again soon. And yeah, bye for now. Bye. Not even in the camper van. Look at the amount of grass there is in the middle of the road. <laughs> oh dear.